I got this 2018 Sonata. We're going to do a transmission draining fill. Get some new fluid in there. First, we want to do is pull this off. Probably don't have to, but it's easier and it, there's no tools there. What we're going to do is you see that little hex piece right there. We're going to take that off. You don't need a, a bit for it or anything. Get my other light. I just got this extended, just regular with no bit on the end. It doesn't take much, it's not tight. I mean, it's snug, but it's not like torqued on there. And remove that so that way that it has air to get the flow when I drain it from the bottom. That's also, this is also where we're going to fill it. There's that. It open holes. Now for the regular oil change, you would just take this little cover here off. Since we're doing the transmissions over here, uh, we're also doing the coolant, which I'm not doing in this video. I'll do another one for that. Uh, we got to take off screws here, all along the bumper here, on there, all the way around there, and then we got to take these off here. And then the ones back here, we'll drop this whole under shield off. And there's two different kinds of screws. So along the outside, you got these thicker threaded ones that would go here and just kind of go plastic to plastic or a little metal tab and then you got these finer threaded ones and that's usually going into a metal tab and so like uh, like this one has a metal tab so like take there we go they go into these like metal tab ones, the finer threads, and then the coarser threads will go into these little like metal tabs. And underneath here we got uh, this will be the drain plug for the transmission. Now if you have a dual clutch uh, one, this plug will be uh, back here more, and the fill kind of be over here. That's a, that'd be a whole other video to do a do a clutch one. So this is the drain plug. All right, so to take that little plug off, I got 24 millimeter fit right on there. It's not, uh, it's on there snug, but it's not like super tight. And what I'm gonna do is drain it into uh, this container to see how much is in there. Just uh, kind of finishing up draining here. Looks like I'm gonna have a little over four quarts in there. This is the plug. I'm gonna clean it off. You can see all the. This is magnetic, so I'm gonna clean off all this gunk on there. All that's gonna get cleaned off while this is draining. And I'll put the plug back in. So I got it all cleaned off. Put that back in. You don't even need to replace that ring on there. You can leave the old one on. I'll tighten it down. There you go. Look back on there and tightened. You can see I took out four quarts, and that's what I'm going to put back in. So I'm going to put these under shields back on. There's two pieces. So I'll start with uh, this one in the front first, and then this one kind of slides up over that. So I got the first part up. Put the screws in here. Uh, leave these ones out. And you leave these ones out to get the other piece in. 
a little piece over here. And this one's going to slide on top of the other. Sitting right. has the same dips there as there. They're gonna kind of go with each other. There we go. You kind of see it lines up around the sides here. Then there's that little tab there that's gonna flip up over. I got the covers on, but uh, I'm missing one. It's not a big deal, but now I gotta find where I dropped it. Bounced around, someone could have kicked it. Other than those, get one of the extras I have. Other than that, it's all on. I'm gonna find that screw. But I found it right here. Usually I set them up here, it must have just kind of slipped under there. Before you go just uh, filling it up, what I want to do is you see those two hoses right there? I'm going to take one of those off so I have air to breathe. If I uh, don't take one of those off and start filling it, it's going to start bubbling. It's going to fill really slow and possibly overflow. This way the air has somewhere to go when I'm putting uh, fluid in. So there's just those little, you can see here, the little clip there. This clip, you just pinch them together and move it. We'll do that, but uh, closer to the top up here under the battery, which uh, I don't think you can really see. So I just ended up taking that hose off straight down right here. I'm gonna put a rag there for any drips. Now I got a long funnel. Put it down. In that spot there. Fill it with my fluid. Four quarts here, because that's what I took out. I got all my fluid in there. Make sure you're pouring it in slowly so you don't make a mess. Put this hose back on. And cotton. Shit, the balance or something. Oh, well, let's see. Clamp that together. Slide it back down in position. 